Welcome to the Emmanuel Azimoto Foundation and Blog Series. Today, we will be discussing Jon Snow, Father of Contemporary Epidemiology, written by Emmanuel J. Azimoto. Picture a 19th century London swathed in mist and plagued by a cholera epidemic. While most doctors are still blaming this health crisis on foul air, also known as the miasma theory, one physician isn't buying it. Enter Jon Snow, a Yorkshire-born doctor with a razor-sharp intellect and a healthy dose of skepticism. He's got a revolutionary idea. Cholera isn't airborne, it's waterborne. It's a theory that will not only change the course of medicine, but also save countless lives. Earning him the unofficial title of Father of Contemporary Epidemiology. Apprentice to Anesthetist Rewind a few years, and we find a 14-year-old Jon Snow apprenticing with a surgeon in York. Far from the posh hallways of academia, Snow hails from a working-class background. Yet, his prodigious talents soon catapulted him to London, the hub of all things scientific and medical in the 19th century. Joining the Royal College of Surgeons and becoming a licensed apothecary are no mean feats, but Snow sets his sights higher still. He gains mastery on obstetric anesthesia and, in a bold move that sends ripples through the medical community, administers chloroform to Queen Victoria during childbirth. Suddenly, anesthesia isn't just for the operating room, it's fit for a queen, effectively breaking the social stigma surrounding its use. The 1854 Broad Street Cholera Outbreak Background in 1854, London found itself gripped by a cholera epidemic that would change the face of public health forever. Imagine a city mired in filth, with open sewers running down its streets and a cocktail of toxic miasmas filling the air. Or so people thought. While the city's leaders pointed fingers at bad air as the harbinger of disease, Jon Snow, the visionary epidemiologist, was about to prove them all wrong. The Soho district was particularly hard hit, Families were decimated, and the medical community was stumped. It was here that Snow saw not just a tragedy, but a scientific testbed. The stage was set for a eureka moment that would resonate across centuries. Solving the puzzle Snow suspected the Broad Street water pump, a popular spot for fetching drinking water, was the real villain. Refusing to bow to prevailing wisdom, he embarked on what might be the world's first boots-on-the-ground epidemiological study. Snow went door-to-door -door in the cholera-stricken neighborhood, carefully noting who had fallen ill and where they had fetched their drinking water. The result? A stunningly simple yet groundbreaking dot map showed an unmistakable cluster of cholera cases surrounding the Broad Street pump. Skeptics were everywhere, but Snow had no time for doubt. Realizing the gravity of the situation, he approached the local authorities and convinced them to remove the pump handle, rendering the well unusable. The audacity of the move was matched only by its impact. Almost immediately, new cases of cholera dropped dramatically. It turned out that the well had been contaminated by a nearby cesspit, proving Snow's theory that cholera was waterborne, not airborne. This wasn't just a case closed for the Broad Street epidemic. It was a paradigm shift in how society understood disease transmission. Snow's meticulous data collection and spatial analysis were revelations. His dot map became an iconic illustration of the potential for scientific methodology to solve pressing public health crises. Legacy In 1849, Snow published the paper on the mode of communication of cholera. In it, he deduced that the contaminated water source was a particular water company, Southwark and Vauxhall. By comparing maps and reviewing numbers, he conclusively proved the source, disputing earlier theories about miasma. This singular event reshaped the destiny of epidemiology and public health. It led to sanitation reforms and investments in water purification that undoubtedly saved countless lives. More importantly, it shifted the medical discourse away from armchair theorizing and towards evidence-based interventions. Snow's actions during the Broad Street epidemic were a victory for scientific inquiry in an age of ignorance and superstition. By marrying keen observation with a methodical approach, he not only quelled an outbreak, but also laid the intellectual groundwork for modern epidemiology. It was a defining moment when data triumphed over dogma, and empirical science overcame blind belief, a moment that sealed John Snow's legacy as one of the founders of contemporary epidemiology.
Written by Emmanuel J. Azimoda. Thank you for listening. Until next time.